Hey everybody, this is my review of 2022's The Black Site. Let's get into it. I'm going to try to keep my thoughts a little bit more condensed this time. So the first thing that I want to talk about are the... Alright, believe it or not, but the actors actually put a lot of effort into this movie. But sadly, the rest of the movie doesn't really put forth that same effort. So whenever we have more serious moments that are supposed to have some kind of emotional weight to them, they actually become more laughable, cringy, and meme-worthy. Every single character primarily plays a trope. You've got the strong independent woman that's dedicated a lot of her time to revenge. The brutish man that solves problems with violence and thinks that he knows way better than the woman. The guy with the accent that all these movies have to have. The killer without morals that is seemingly unstoppable until the plot decides otherwise. The cowboy characters I want you to turn off surveillance so they can do what needs to be done. I think you get the point. Nobody really seems developed. It's like akin to a slasher movie where characters exist for a few moments just to die and then add to a body count. Sadly though, our main heroine is not exempt from those problems. She's the one we're supposed to support, we're supposed to root for, we're supposed to care about, but the things that she is fighting for doesn't matter to us because her family that she cared about so much, they die off screen before the movie begins. The person she's been hunting all this time this is the first time we meet him. None of the struggles that she says she's had get shown to us whatsoever. Her family don't even have names. They are not even named. So why should I care? I don't. There's no reason to care about her or her problems or her backstory whatsoever. And it really hurts this film. Even during the movie, the friends and people she has don't get much better treatment. They die within moments of meeting them. So why am I supposed to care about them? I can't. It's all rushed and poorly done. And that brings me into... So the plot here attempts to have many different types of mysteries and stories and narratives and stuff and all intertwines them into one person's life and it is messy it is extremely rushed it feels like nothing's ever fleshed out nothing ever matters it's extremely hard for me to care about anything that's going on it's basically just something you can watch as a palate cleanser because it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things even though the ending is a freaking cliffhanger trying to set up a sequel you've got the woman who wants to figure out what happened to her husband and her daughter. That's all well and good, except we never get to know anything about them besides the fact that they apparently existed at one point in time. Let's move on to the next. Maybe that's easier to support. You've got a guy who she thinks may be responsible. He gets captured and coincidentally is transferred to her black site. And no movie, just because you decide to point out how weird of a coincidence this is, doesn't make it any better. It doesn't make it any more lazy that you just put this in there just for the sake of pushing the plot forward you can bring up that somebody somewhere is looking out for her. you can imply something bigger at the end you can do whatever the heck you want but if it doesn't make sense after it is said and after it is done then it just makes it worse it brings up thing after thing after thing after thing trying to get you to think that maybe this can be explored maybe this will be elaborated on maybe this is important but in the end none of it is it's all just wasted potential you get one character that has a complete character shift and we never get to figure out why. You have another character that is looking for somebody else that has some prior connection to somebody else, but we never get to figure out what that is. And those instances aren't one-off things. They are presented as if they could be important to the main mystery that the main girl is trying to solve, as if they could be involved in what happened to her family, as if they could have some, you know, bearing on the freaking plot of the freaking movie that they're freaking in. And then the movie ends, and guess how much of it mattered? Absolutely none of it. Oh, but Trevor, don't you know? This is supposed to be an action movie. It's supposed to just be fun. You're just looking way too into it. You can have an action movie and it can be fun, but you can also put something in there that makes it coherent, that gives it some kind of weight, some kind of tension, something that makes me care about something that's going on because if you don't, it's no different than any other standard fare action movie. Well, daggone, cowpoke. Tell me how you really feel. How do I really feel about this movie? I feel like it is wasted potential. I feel like it is squandered promise. I feel like the actors came in and went all in when it came to their performances in this film. And I have a lot of respect for them for doing that. Because me, 
personally, I don't think I could go in and put in 100% when the movie and the people that write it and the people doing the effects put in like 20. And I mean that wholeheartedly because somebody somewhere thinks it's a smart idea for a guy whom is, I don't know, fighting for his life to leave guns. The most useful freaking weapon in this place lay everywhere. Every time he kills someone whom is armed, he leaves the gun. Why? I don't know, so we can have a struggle with somebody later that makes absolutely no sense when he could have picked up a freaking gun and shot the guy. You stupid American swine. I think that you are overreacting. Oh my gosh, you're right. I am so sorry. I may be overreacting. How about instead? How about you look at this stupid explosive that looks like it came straight out of Roblox and is somehow blown open this gigantic door that looks like it's supposed to protect against an army. And then watch this little tiny girl walk up and open this gigantic freaking door like it is nothing. And then how about you look at the scene where a guy gets freaking popped but there's no bullet wound anywhere. Somehow he is bleeding out but the only blood that is visible looks like it's coming out of his armpits. A little tiny pool of blood about the size of my hand. A puddle. A freaking puddle. And he bleeds out almost instantly. It's pretty dumb, right? So hopefully, somebody somewhere who decided to waste their time watching this complete dumpster fire, incoherent mess of a movie can have some semblance of respect for the actors who went in and did their freaking thing because they did well. I am so sorry to each and every one of you for the people that screwed you over when it comes to this movie because your agents, they screwed you. The people writing it, they screwed you. The people doing the effects, they screwed you. So I'm sorry you had to go through that. Do I recommend this movie? Heck no. There were some parts that I thought were good, but then it all got ruined by every second that this movie continued to go on. And then when it ended, it ruined even the little slightest hint of enjoyment that I got out of it. So don't go watch this movie, but thank you so much for watching this review. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Have a good day.